welcome back to another video for the SciTech XPD2 Pro Elite Setup video series. This is, once again, Commander Gangrene TVP. I wanted to give you all a heads up on the installation information as we've had some developments. There's really been two issues that have been reported to me through the Reddit. Number one, as I said previously in the 2B video, the program file did not show the key binds for certain players and we've also had a second issue that's come up where it said that the stick binds in the game were not really showing the stick for pitch, roll, yaw, throttle and they weren't coming in automatically like they should be for certain players. Basically we whittled these issues down to one thing players with the X52 non-pro version of the joystick. I've never owned the standard SciTech X52, so I really couldn't have anticipated these problems, but now that we've had time to look at what was going on, we've boiled them down to two things. Um, in terms of the program file, now that we look at these joysticks side by side, you can see that there are a couple of clear differences. One being if we look at the buttons on the throttle on the pro version we have two wheels and two buttons which is pretty clearly different from the standard x52 which we see over here which just has three buttons no wheels um, on it and if you're looking at it you can also see that you know the toggle switches don't have LEDs and such but that shouldn't really be the problem the problem is that these throttles have different buttons on them so this is what caused the program file to load up with no key binds basically because it had different buttons the program was rejecting the key binds and bringing it in blank so that was problem number one the second issue was loading in the key binds into Elite Dangerous a Reddit user named Coker was integral into figuring out what was going on here, and he had the standard version of the X52. So, due to his testing of loading these files, is kind of how we whittled down what these problems are. And if we look at um, this Reddit post that I cut and pasted into here, you can basically see in the key binding file that on the X52 Pro version is slightly different than the standard X52. It doesn't have that Pro right there, so when it loads in those key binds, the players who have the X52, it wasn't putting those in properly, so that's why the bind, you can see how it says the access here for the joystick, that was not loading in correctly. So that's why certain things like the pitch control, yaw control, roll control, and the throttle, I do believe, were not showing up. Everything else is showing up in the binds, just not those um, individual things for the joystick access. So, Coker has helped us out as he's provided us with some new files that will help us resolve the issue for the standard X52. So the link is written larger here, and it will be in the description for this video. So let's go ahead and check out the link and see what uh, Cokert's cooked up for us. So you'll see on this page, you have a readme file down here, which kind of gives you a little bit of information on the installation. And then what you're going to want to do is click on Download Zip. Once you've downloaded it and unzipped the file, you're going to see this. If you go ahead and go in here, there's the non-pro version. You're going to see the custom binds file and the elite non-pro v1 version of the program file. You're going to go ahead and utilize those and note the differences down here in the instructions. Once again, I'd like to give a shout out to Coker for helping out with this and uh, developing those files for us. I really appreciate him taking the time to do that, as I didn't have an X52 myself, and I really couldn't, with 100% accuracy, you know, develop those files and you know test them to make sure that they function properly. So, thanks, Coker, for helping us out there. Hopefully, this will help all the standard X52 players resolve the issues they were seeing. Um, this is once again Commander Gangrene TVP. Thanks for watching.
please feel free to like the video and subscribe. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video series. Have a great day and see you next time.